Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Logyard. We finally have the kiln done. It took us longer than expected, but we finally have it ready to use. For those of you that don't know, we have built a solar kiln for our lumber. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we built it. We all had so much fun working on the kiln the past couple months. It was cool getting to work with all of my siblings on it with the absence of loud machinery running. Before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe and turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss out on another video. Also, remember to follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07. So let me start off by telling you why we built this kiln. We built it mainly for our quarter sawn lumber. Because this is a solar kiln, it dries much slower than other kilns. While this might seem like a negative thing, it actually creates a more stable board than one that had its moisture drawn from it at a rapid pace. A bonus of having this kiln is that we can also give our customers the option of having a kiln dried burl. Different artists have different preferences of the moisture content they want in their wood. Having the ability to dry the burls opens up more of an opportunity to sell these beautiful pieces of wood. Unfortunately, I didn't get footage of what this spot looked like before we started working on it. But it was just really a mess of weeds. Building the kiln here gives this spot a purpose, which is a good reason alone. We primed the walls first, and then we put two coats of black paint on. Painting the wall black is obviously going to help heat the kiln. We used polycarbonate for the roof because it can withstand the sun's rays better than other materials and it won't get brittle over time. This way the sun can shine through the plastic without the rays bouncing off. 
This is again very important for heating the kiln, especially because it is 100% solar with no other way of heating. I felt the wall after the paint had dried and could tell that it was already getting hot from the sun. This is what finally got me excited for the final product. The boss's idea was that we can set it up so that the piles can be moved with the forks. This meant having large doors that could swing open, which took some careful thinking. We made a side door as well so that it was easy to get in and check the moisture content of the wood. We aren't sure how quickly the wood will dry during the winter months. But when I walked in there the other day, it was 20 degrees warmer than outside. For the walls, we used a special 6mm plastic that is very similar to what is used on greenhouses. This plastic disperses the rays of sun equally through the kiln, which is incredibly important.
and this is the final product. You can see that there's a little bit of condensation on the walls there, and it's because we haven't installed a vent yet. That's it for this week's video. Remember to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on another video. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07. Also, also, check out our merch shop on the way out.